When I was a younger man, I was importing games like mad. There was a place that sold domestic and Japanese games where I live, and you could try them out at their store. They were the ones that showed me how to import on the PlayStation for the very first time, and they showed me a game that had not been yet released in the United States called Monster Farm. Supposedly, you could take different CDs that you owned and make them into new monsters for the game. I started making a list of all the CD games and music CDs that I had, trying to figure out what kind of monsters they made. I even borrowed friends' CDs and added those to my list. One CD I had made a golem that quickly became my favorite. He was strong and he was happy. We barely ever lost a battle, and I tried to make this golem's life good and peaceful. Well, aside from the battles, which he enjoyed. But in this world, even the monsters have a limited lifespan, and my friend here was no different. Golems have a very short lifespan, and I knew that I wasn't to have him for very long. But he wasn't just some digital monster or a pocket pet. This guy was different to me for some reason, and I felt real emotion for him. So I started saving the game before and after every battle. I had seen too many of my monsters prior to him die right after a fight, and I didn't want him to go that way. He lived well past what he should have, and he kept on winning. Then, one day, he passed the day after a battle. I just couldn't let him go like that. I, I really just couldn't. So I restarted the game and just stored him into the monster farm save area. And there he sits, still to this day safe, asleep, waiting for the moment that I bring him out. I understood that you could transfer monsters from Monster Farm 1 to Monster Farm 2, but I never got the second game, never got a chance to see if he could live on in a new game, even for just a little bit longer. Maybe someday I'll try. Maybe someday. <laughs>